Hey guys, Crystal here, and we are back to go ahead and cut my first two soap, um, my first two test batches. Um, I tried to make the video, I already cut two of them, but this is what it looks like. But I got kind of interrupted, so I just started all over again. So that's test batch number one, and look how pretty that is. And then we have test batch number two. Um, this was in the mold for three, day guy, three days, guys, and that's how soft it was. So um, I'm definitely missing my sodium lactate. I love, love, love my sodium lactate. It helps with the lather and the hardness. So I don't have any, unfortunately, and I just got done making this last night. This is my black cedar wood and juniper. It's my men's soap. Um, as you see the next video, which is the making and cutting of this one, I said, well, let me clean my table off. I'll come back and cut these. Well, it was pretty late, and then so I just decided to wait till today. Um, so the kids are all home from church. It's Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon. I did this last night. And um, they're outside playing right now. So today's been a pretty good day. I can already tell that this is going to be a good soap, guys. Um, I did this recipe, the first one, which is this pink one. I did it with just testing, you know, no micas, no nothing. And I absolutely love it. I love it. I'm just, it was missing the hardness. And now it's pretty hard, but it's still, you know, just a tiny. I mean, it's been a month since I made this. And I told you guys my tripod broke and I had to get another one. And uh, a good friend of mine, um, I've been talking to her. She actually sent me one. So that was really, really awesome. Um, so I decided to go ahead and give this a cut. If you guys recognize this, this is my bud cutter. I love this cutter. It's my favorite cutter in the world. But here is that. So there's the first one. That is so pretty. Of course, it don't have any fragrance or anything like that in it. Um... Go ahead, my paper towel fell. It's pink everywhere, and we'll have to clean that off when I get done. So, this is the test batch number two. And take an end off of it. And let's go ahead and cut it. Yeah, when I, I mean, it, three days, you guys, three days it was in the mold. And look, I mean, it was that soft, but it's still pretty. Hopefully the sea salt will work. I'm hoping and praying it will. I'm really, really missing my sodium lactate. This stuff is awesome. It's pretty. My One of my adoptive daughters, which is my daughter's best friend, Chloe, um, she picked out the colors for this soap. And as you guys will see in this video, um, I do want to send out these uh, these soaps here for, for people for testing. But that is a lot of money and shipping that I have to come up with um, just to send them out. And that's just not possible right this minute. So I'm trying to figure something out. Because I know I promised a lot of people that they could test, which I mean you guys are going to. I'm just going to have to figure out how to get it to you guys. Which might be a little issue right this minute. So... Now, I have not tested this soap out yet. This one, this recipe, I have. But I've not tested this one out yet. So, hopefully, it turns out to be pretty good. I'm hoping that if I do this, when I when I do another one with this recipe, that I, this, the um, salt will actually help harden it. Instead of um, the sodium lactate. Because I don't have any, unfortunately. But um, in that other video, like I was going to tell you guys, um, I have decided that I'm going to change the name of my channel. Um, I'm leaning towards Sea Light Soapery instead of Sea Light Candles and Soaps. So, because I do more of the soaping than I do candles. I really don't do candle, candles anymore. I do more tarts. So, I'm playing around with that idea. I haven't even looked up to see if YouTube will let me change the name or not. <laughs> so, I haven't even got that far, but... Um, I think I'm moving in the right direction to getting everything, you know, started up again. So hopefully it goes the way I planned. So um, I'm going to let this one set for another few hours and try to see if I can get it out of the mold and cut it. See if the uh, sea salt helped any. Um, honestly, I've never used salt. I've always used sodium lactate, but we're going to try. All right, guys. So we'll see you later. Bye-bye.